Ay, ay, ay. Sakit na ng mata ko. Ano yung langis na po? Ay, ano ba yung exercises? Di ba tinuluan ako na dati? Ano yung pinapagawa mo? Stretching ba yun? A few moments later. I'm done, Han. Stretching ng mata. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Bian from the Chabi Channel and I'm here to take good care of your eyes and your vision. So, staring at your computer screen throughout the day can lead to eye strain, dry eye, sudden blurring of vision at far, or it can even lead to headache, neck, and shoulder pain. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and eye exercises that could help you relieve your computer vision syndrome. So if you're new here to our channel and you want to learn more about the eyes, you want some beauty tips, and you just want to have some fun with us, then please do click the subscribe button down below so you won't miss any of our future videos. So a lot of us nowadays are spending most of their time in front of a computer screen, laptop, or gadgets. And staring at these devices that is only a few feet away from our face can really be taxing for our eye muscles and can often result to having eye strain, headache, neck, and shoulder pain. So, whether you're using your computer for work, for social media, or even for gaming, here are some tips and eye exercises that would help you out. Tip number one! Makipag-break ka muna! Huwag mo ko yung Break na tayo! Sa computer screen mo. When you're staring at your computer screen for a prolonged period, your eye muscles cramps up and this is what we call as accommodative spasm. When you're looking at near, your eye muscles are more active. So para siyang naka-flex. Diba yung muscles mo, kapag pina-flex mo siya, nafe-feel mo yung cramp niya. Just like when you're squatting. When you're squatting, the nearer you are to the floor, mas masakit ito para sa legs natin. It goes the same with your eye muscles. So, you need to follow the 20-20-20 rule. Maririnig mo ito parate sa aming optometries that you need to follow this. What is this? This is for every 20 minutes of doing near work. Make sure you rest your eyes for at least 20 seconds. Then look far away, at least about 20 feet away. Tip number two, makipag-high five ka sa computer screen mo. You want to make sure that your computer screen is about an arm's length away from your face. Adjust your screen position that is for both the height and the distance of your computer screen. You want to make sure that your computer screen is about an arm's length away. That is the same as with the laptop. And you might want to tilt or adjust it so you'll get the slightest glare as possible. As far as the height of the screen, you want your eyes not to be at the top of your screen but not directly looking in the middle. For most users, having about 3 4 quarters of the way up on the screen is ideal because it allows you to look slightly downwards onto the center which is more comfortable for your eyes. Adjust your screen to reduce glare coming from your window or indoor light source because it decreases contrast and you'll end up squinting your eyes and yeah, you don't want that. Tip number three, adjust the settings of your computer to make it easier to see. Make the font of your device larger. Another thing, you can adjust the brightness level of your screen. Adjust it to be more bright or dim it down if it seems too harsh for your eyes. Then, you also have this cool feature called the night light or blue light mode. 
night light setting that would adjust the amount of blue wavelength light coming from your device so that you don't get that much blue light affecting your melatonin production which can affect your sleeping cycle. You can also use anti-radiation glasses or blue light glasses even if you don't have green just to protect your eyes from the blue light. Tip number four, magpakyut ka muna sa computer screen mo. Do not forget to blink and manage your dry eye symptoms. Many of us do not blink as much whenever we are looking on a near device. Whenever we're focusing on a computer screen, laptop, or even a book, our attention span is really hyper-focused and we often forget to blink. Our blink rate is usually about 20 times on a normal conversation but drops down to four and a half times when we are focusing on a device. One way to relieve those symptoms is just to simply know that your eyes are dry already and be aware that you have to blink more often. Pause for a while, then blink your eyes rapidly for about 30 seconds, then blink your eyes slowly. Blinking is important as it keeps our eyes properly lubricated. You can also use supplemental eye drops and warm compress if you prefer. Tip number five, it's exercise time. I'm going to share with you some eye exercises that could help relieve your eye strain. The first exercise is something called cupping. Rub your hands. Heat is going to help relax the muscles of your eyes. You're going to put the palm of your hand over your eyes. You're not pushing onto your eyes directly, but kind of cupping your eyes, making things look dark. Then you're putting pressure around the bony orbits of your eyes. Do this as a relaxation technique for maybe a minute or so. The next eye exercise is eye direction exercises. That is a matter of looking in different directions of gaze. Look upward, hold it there for 5 seconds. Look down, hold it there for 5 seconds. You can look to the right. Look to the left. Up and to the right. Up and to the left. Down and to the right. Down and to the left. Try to hold it there for a few seconds and give your eye muscles a little stretch. Do what is comfortable for you. Then, you can follow up from the eye directions into doing the eye roll. Look upward, make a slow rotation of your eyes in a clockwise and in a counterclockwise fashion. You can repeat these exercises multiple times, and afterwards, your eyes will feel more relaxed. After eye circles, now we can do the eye push-up. Get a pen or something with a pointed tip, hold it at arm's length, then slowly pull it towards your eyes. Focus on the tip for a few seconds, then push it away. Do this for about 10 to 20 times. And if at any point you're having pain or discomfort with any of these exercises, stop. Then follow up with your local optometrist or eye doctor to make sure your eyes are doing okay. Ultimately, that is one of the best things that I would recommend that is to follow up with your eye care professional, with your optometrist on a regular basis, or at least once a year. So, I have a question for you today. Which part of this video is your favorite? And do you have any questions regarding your dry eye, eye strain, computer vision syndrome, blue light? If you do, drop it down on the comment section below and I'll answer it for you.